It started off going in the right direction and somehow it took a sharp left turn. What am I talking about, you might ask? Well, in this video, I will tell you exactly that. All right, guys, let's get to it, man. Short and sweet. What am I talking about? Well, if you're on Twitter or if you are a Madden Twitter person or if you watch the streams from the Madden Twitch channel, you already know what I'm talking about in this video. It's today's message from Good Morning Madden with Clint Oldenburg as one of the guests or the primary guest, if you will. And he talked about zone coverage and the updates and where the game is, et cetera, et cetera. Here's where the left turn came. And, and the reason why I'm saying left turn is because at first, and it's funny, this is not even being talked about because the left turn <laughs> was much more prevalent. But in the beginning, Clint went on to say that there's fixes, more fixes for cover two already coming, fixes for cover three already coming, and fixes for cover four already coming, right? Started off good. Okay, we, you know, we still are gonna be upset about where the game is, but at least we know fixes are coming. But then the left turn was addressing the data from the NFL season in 2020 and comparing that to the numbers in Madden. Listen, I understand why you do that. I don't always agree with that, and I'll explain that to you guys here in a moment. But I understand why you would do that, but you have to understand that you this ain't the time to do that. This is not the message that the hardcore fan base or the hardcore player base, which would be simulation guys and competitive guys. Those two audiences are your hardcore. We have the loudest voices. We're the ones that are gonna complain. The casuals are not gonna say anything. So you have to always keep in mind what audience you are speaking for. You can't say things like using the data as a measuring stick when there's fundamental principles that are not applying or being applied in coverage. There are certain situations in the coverages that certain players in that coverage are not doing their assignment at all. No recognition. <laughs> They're just covering grass which that's a whole nother topic. You guys know I'm always talking about coverage just needs to be done over in terms of what it's based on, right? It needs to be based on awareness and head tracking and the numerous other things that, in my opinion, would create organic coverage. But anyway, just to stick back to the topic at hand, when that type of stuff is happening in the game, you can't make a a general statement about it's in line with the data from last season because great the game being in line with real world nfl data great that's all sounds good but it doesn't sound good when there's actual things that are broken or buggy in coverage so it, it kills that whole argument and this is one of the things where I always tell you guys, there's certain issues that I look at the, you know, I look at the devs and there's certain issues that I look at the suits. This to me is I have to look at my devs and I say my devs because a lot of these guys, they're good guys. You know, I know these guys, I have relationships with these guys, but at the end of the day, you know, you should be able to tell people that you know, like, hey, nah, you probably shouldn't have did that. <laughs> and that's what this is. That wasn't the message today. That wasn't the right message. Not right now in this state. Again, I feel like you could have just left it with, we got these fixes coming. We understand there's coverage. There's still things going on there. We're sorry. We're actively working on it. Boom, and just let it fly. Because at the end of the day, when you say that statement, people are either going to hate it or love it, but that's it. You're not going to have all of this, you know, this backlash. And, and, and it just, it just wasn't, it just didn't sound good to some of us extremely hardcore players that understand what's really happening, right? And then the other thing that took a left turn was when he talked about the game's gotta be fun for everybody. I get it. 
I get it from a principal vanilla standpoint, but no, <laughs> you gotta make authentic football. It shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter. A sports game should shoot for authenticity, point blank, period. Because you have difficulty settings for fun. You have rookie and pro, and you also have an arcade setting for gameplay style. So you sh should still be able to make authenticity. Don't make the game for sim. Don't make the game for comp guys. Make it for football. It should always be the measuring stick. Fundamental authenticity to the best of your ability is what you should always shoot for. And then we wouldn't have these issues. I mean, video games are video games, but at the end of the day, some of the basic principles that should be applying with the coverages, gotta get that stuff right and let the chips fall where they may, you know, from that point. And then people will have to understand, look, every defense doesn't stop every play. <laughs> it doesn't happen in the real world, but what always brings it into focus for Madden is when guys like myself and others can go in the replay and say, why did he do that? When we know the coverage, when we know we use our football acumen to know, oh, okay, he should not have done that. So why did he do that? You see what I'm saying? And that's why you just can't use data today to, to buff the argument. And speaking of buff... <laughs> Again, we're not asking for zones to be buffed. Y'all know me. You guys know I hate the turning up or the turning down of the dial in terms of how effective. I don't like that. And I understand it's a video game. Listen, they're not humans, but I just don't like the regulating the game that way because it makes you feel like there is no organic gameplay when you can literally tune something to try to stay in line with the data. No, it shouldn't be like that. It should not be like that. Nobody's asking for coverage to be bumped up. We're just asking for it to work properly and let the more skilled players on the field be able to play it better than others. But everybody on the field should at least be able to play the assignment in a, from a general standpoint. So that's what the uproar is about, man. And like I said, I feel like I needed to make the video. Of course, you know, a lot of you guys asked my opinion. And then also, like I said, man, look, y'all know that I'm all for the devs. I support those guys. But, you know, when something comes off wrong, it comes off wrong. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, at the end of the day, good people in that building. You know, to dispel some of the myths, they know football. They definitely know what they're doing. But, you know, unfortunately, Madden is, is in a pickle right now where there's been too many Band-Aid fixes over the years, and now it's just all coming to a head. <laughs> That's what it is. So we'll see. We'll see what these updates bring down the road. But at the end of the day, the lasting point that I want to leave in this video is this was not the day to use data as a measuring stick when there's fundamental things within the zone coverages that are not working. Not the right time. But outside of that, man, that's all I got for you guys in this particular video. Of course, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, like the video and cut on your notifications so you're fully aware of when videos are available. Until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.